Hello friends, today I've got an exciting new feature to show you that's coming to OpenTunes very soon. And that's with huge thanks to JustBurner who's been working behind the scenes on this and other features to improve OpenTunes. And some of these features you've already got in the program and there's some more exciting new features coming soon. So do stay tuned to the channel and I'll keep you informed of those. But today's new feature is the ability to change the transparency of the program so that you can see through it to whatever programs you've got behind while still working in OpenTunes, which is really useful for referencing. So to start, you'll find the command at the bottom of your Windows menu, and it's called Toggle Main Windows See-Through Mode. So opening this command will show this small window, and it's set immediately to change the transparency of the program. So you can just drag the slider to change the transparency to see more of the background or more of open tunes and then with the level created you can just start drawing and however transparent the program is you're still working in open tunes and this little button on the right will turn the transparency off and on again so you can quickly see your drawing without the reference behind and if you hold alt when you click it you can now manipulate the program underneath to move the image, change to a new image, progress your video reference, or whatever you need to do. So I needed an image to use in my next video, more on that video in a minute. But I wanted to have a character drawn, so I chose Robin Hood for the Disney cartoon of the same name. And I traced him and the tree he was standing on. And if you want to see the full regular speed drawing of this, along with the voiceover, you can find it on my Patreon site. And you find a link to that down below. But using the transparency feature was so useful for this tracing and for getting an image into OpenTunes that I could use. So this new feature will be available in a nightly build soon and when it is I'll add details of that to the description and to the pinned comment. So now I can use this image to show how I'd add shadows and highlights to it using my new effects macro which I'll do next week. So do subscribe to be notified of that. And when that's out, you'll find the video just here. But in the meantime, here's another video that I know you'll find useful. And that's a guarantee.